look at that difference. It is pretty significant. Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again and here with my initial impressions of this iPad mini, but I also want to do something special here, an and Tutu benchmark test between the iPad mini and the Mi 11 Ultra. A throttling test guys, and we're going to see how does this Apple A15 in the iPad mini compare to one of the top chipsets still on the market, the Snapdragon 888 from the Mi 11 Ultra. And I gotta say guys, it's been a pretty exciting couple of days using this iPad mini, barring the annoying placement of the volume rockers here. It's been a really excellent tablet experience. I've been using this thing non-stop. The display, the performance, even the cameras have been solid on this iPad mini. And yes, I'll even address the elephant in the room. Is there jelly scrolling on this iPad mini? Well, it's there if you wanna see it. It's kind of obvious to be honest, but you know what? I am rarely using my iPad mini in portrait mode. Here's the case, and I've been using it in landscape mode for the majority of the time. And in this mode, I rarely notice the jelly scrolling. It may be a deal breaker for some, but for me, I'm loving the tiny bezels. It's just a fantastic iPad experience through and through, and I think it is totally still well worth the money. But another big reason why this iPad is so special is that it is, with the Apple A15, one of the fastest computers on the market that you can get today. And I'm not just talking about tablets or phones, I'm talking about computers, computers in general. That's why this is gonna be a very interesting test when we put this iPad mini next to the Mi 11 Ultra, what you could consider still the most powerful chipset with this Snapdragon 888 on this phone. So there we go, we have both phones set to maximum brightness. I've gone ahead and turned on the AC because guess what? It's gonna get pretty hot in this room. And let's see how this iPad mini with its A15 compares next to the Snapdragon 888 in the Mi 11 Ultra. Let's go. So there we go guys, test number one. And look at these results. Going toe to toe here, 797 versus 793 on the iPad mini and the Mi 11 Ultra. N22 version 9.0.3, those are very impressive results for this tablet and for this phone. But now we need to look at the temperatures of these and see how they're doing. First, the iPad mini, you can see it's pretty warm here to the side, but 33, 34 degrees. That is it guys, that is about as warm as it's gotten, you can see it's a bit warmer on the side, 35, 36. What about the Mi 11 Ultra? There we see it, 40, 41 degrees. And here at the bottom as well, 42, 43 degrees almost on the Mi 11 Ultra. And we're gonna flip these over and let's measure the temperatures of the backs as well. 35, 36 degrees here, while the Mi 11 Ultra is up to 40, 41 degrees. Look at that difference, it is pretty significant and you did notice i did put in the temperature gauge here for the room 24 degrees but we're going to go ahead and do it again here we go all right folks test two completed and look at this crazy result the ipad mini has gone up in score 799,000 and 771 for the Mi 11 Ultra. Clearly, the thermals here at work. Let's see the temperatures 34, I think 36 degrees. That's the highest temperature I can get here on the front. While the Mi 11 Ultra is scorching, guys 44 degrees, 43.9. And how about the bottom? Let's have a look 42.8. And how about the backs? Maybe 36 degrees maximum, but all in all, you see it's not too hot. While the Mi 11 Ultra is 43, very hot here around the camera module. I mean, that says it all, folks. The advantage of a tablet next to a phone with these powerful chipsets. You really need a larger surface area to dissipate heat. That's exactly what the iPad mini is doing. So now I'm genuinely curious to see what happens with this iPad mini after this final round. I think I know what the Mi 11 Ultra is gonna do, but let's go ahead and test again for the third and last time. Here we go. Let's 
Folks, test number three completed, and OMG. <laughs> Not only has the iPad mini gone higher in score, it has now achieved on this test for me the highest score I've ever seen on an iOS device, 822,000. The Mi 11 Ultra now down to 766. I think holding its own here, the Mi 11 Ultra is already dimmed its display while the iPad mini is still completely bright. Unbelievable. And now to test the heat. There's no denying it guys, the iPad mini can dissipate heat so well. And I mean that just says it all. Meanwhile the Mi 11 Ultra, let's have a look, is scorching. Even with the air on guys, 22.6 degrees in this room. We are reaching almost 44 degrees here on this Mi 11 Ultra. That says it all folks, look at that, 34, 35. While the Mi 11 Ultra is scorching, if you have any reason to doubt the cooling capabilities of an iPad mini, don't doubt them now. Incredible. And so now we see the verdict in this one in second place, of course, the Mi 11 Ultra. It did pretty well in this test, still very impressed that they've improved the throttling on the 888, but it is getting super hot now, and you can see the temperature increases, while the iPad mini has just champed it out here, taking the win with an incredible round three score of 822,000. And I don't doubt that the next test would have the Mi 11 Ultra go even lower and the iPad mini stay in this similar range. And what this concludes is that putting an Apple A15 in an iPhone is great, but if you really wanna enjoy the power of this chipset, you're gonna want an iPad mini or something like it. And this pretty much validates and justifies my reason for purchase. I knew this iPad mini was a beast, but I didn't realize how big a beast it truly is. The iPad mini is the new and Tutu throttling test champ, and I can't wait to see what it can do next. But hit me up in the comments. What are your thoughts on this test? And are you as surprised with the results of this iPad mini as I am? Hit me up in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Reggie Tech, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for future updates. Stay tuned for more great content. And this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech signing off. Have a good one. An A15 and an iPad mini. Sheer beast power.